What's up YouTube, Kenny here, and today I am actually back from my vacation, my week-long vacation, and we're getting back into our videos. Um, today we're going to be continuing on our multiverse series. Now, I've, I've been going over, I've gone over the portals and the core, those two are the other multiverse uh, plugins. Today we're going to be going over multiverse inventories, and another day we'll go over the nether. So to start, we're, you're of course going to want to download it. But do keep in mind that this is in uh, the beta stage, so not everything will be perfect, but it works seamlessly as far as my usage have, has gone. So go ahead and navigate to your downloads folder once you've downloaded it, and pull up your server folder. Navigate to the plugins directory, and go ahead and drop this in. By the way, all pretty much all of these tutorials are the same if you do have a server hosted with a company. It's pretty much the same, except if you're just uploading it to a directory that's not on your computer. You'll know what I mean if if you have that, if you're in that situation. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyways, um, so now we're going to go ahead and start our server up, and it will generate the Multiverse Inventories folder. Okay, so now that it's finished loading Multiverse and started it up, it has generated a folder, like most plugins do, and we can go ahead and open the uh, configuration file. Okay, so this is where pretty much you set up the entire plugin. Now, there's a few other options up here, but we're mainly going to concentrate on the groups because up here, these are all self-explanatory. And once again, I'm like pointing at my computer screen as if you guys can see my, my hands going out, but you can't, so it's not working. So this is, this is where it all happens, in the groups category. So by default, all of these worlds all share the same inventories. That's how they set it up, up for you. Now, let's say, ah, uh, I just, I want the nether to have its own inventory. Well, that's simple. Just go ahead and delete it off. Any world that isn't in a group will have its own inventory. So, if it's not in a group, like the nether is no longer in, in this default group, that's the name of the group, it has its own inventory. Okay, so let's say that we want the nether in some other world, we'll call this world PvP, to have the same inventory. How do we do that? Well, you can actually create a number of different groups in this plugin. S to create a new group, you just go hit enter, and then you go over two spaces, and make sure that it's aligned with the default there, and we can call this group two. Hit enter, go over two, worlds, colon, and then you start listing your worlds. So we're going to have world underscore nether, and we're going to have another world called PVP. And then we also have to add this shares column here. I'll just go ahead and copy it. Some uh, laziness getting in there. There. So now the nether world and the PVP world have the same inventories, and the end and world have the same inventories. Now, keep in mind. Right now we have shares set to all. That means they're sharing everything. That means this like inventory, experience, health, hunger, where their beds are. You can actually configure this separately. So if we just want them to share inventories, not anything else, we can go ahead and take off that uh, all and just put in inventory. And now they'll only share their inventory. So guys, that's about it for this tutorial. And of course, you're gonna want to file and save this and then you can go ahead and stop your server and then you can start it up again now of course you don't necessarily have to stop it every time you want to reload the configuration most plugins do have a reload command and I recommend looking at their bucket dev page for commands for example you can just do mv reload in the console or in game hit enter and it'll reload all of the, your multiverse plugins that you have installed or enabled on your server now if you guys are interested on seeing this plugin in action because I'm not actually going to show you guys th that right now you guys are just going to have to trust me on this one uh, you guys can go ahead and join my server and see how I have it set up I actually downloaded my configuration from my server this is how I'm running it right now um, if you guys are interested in contacting me or have any questions go ahead and email me that is in the description of this video join my server the IP is on the screen if you want to see this once again but I think that's about it guys 
My name is Kenny, and I'll see you guys next time.